Here we are, One Bills Live, Chris Brown, Steve Tasker, and the Hall of Famer, Thurman Thomas, in here. On a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. Ready to chop it up mm. on Bills Dolphins. You came in. Thurman has already uh, got the goosebumps for Sunday, man. Yeah, we were talking yeah. we, just before we came on the air. We were like, man, this is. <laughs> this is. Uh, this is. This is Don Shula, Marv Levy exactly. game. Exactly. Yeah. This is uh, <laughs> how it used to be until, you know, the Patriots had their run. And yeah. it kind of just, oh, we hate the Patriots more. But I think now. Hey, with these two teams going back and forth, I mean, what, they split last year? Well, yeah. in the regular season. Yes. And then we won a playoff game here. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's time to renew the rivalry. Yeah, so here's the question for you, Thurm. I think when you guys, during the quote-unquote Kelly Marino era, for lack of a better term, you guys, I think for the most part, considered each other equals in terms of adversaries. Like, pretty much on equal footing for the most part. I think there was that mutual respect, right, yeah, for the yeah, most part? Yeah. Miami has been chasing Buffalo here yeah. the last few years. They, yeah. I don't even think now everybody in NFL circles considers them equals. Right. Miami wants to win this game <laughs> so they can say, we're here yeah. and we're your equal, right? That's the motivation for them this week. Yeah, I, I think that's the motiva- motivation for them. Um, I think last week going against Washington, that was motivation for the Bills to play the way they did because they didn't want to drop farther. When you come into this game one and two instead of two and one, yeah, yeah, you dig yourself in a hole. But now, um, you know, this game is on our home turf, man. Right. It's on our home turf. And, yeah, I'm sure Matt, Miami's going to want to come in here and put 50 on them. And that's oh, yeah. with not even saying if they're going to have Waddle or not. Yeah, right. He's pra- by the way, Waddle is practicing today, so okay. he's back on the field. Uh, it was it was announced by McDaniel earlier. Okay. But if yeah, if Bills win this game, they go right back to the top of the division. <laughs> top of the division. Miami's there now, though. Yeah. yeah. And they'll have identical records, but Buffalo will have the tiebreaker because of the head to head. That's that's what you're fighting against. If the Bills lose this game, they're two and two, two behind. Yeah. Two. That's hard. That's hard to broke. overcome. In, even in 13 games, that's a hard gap to overcome. Yeah, it is. But you know what? It's it's the NFL. It's the National Football League. Miami can't keep this trend going through the, for for they ain't scoring 14 70 more games, you know? I mean, are yeah. they going to end up averaging 40 points a game for the rest of the year? Who knows? But I think every now and then a team goes through a dip. You go through a dip. And we're only in, I mean, hey, Tua hasn't been touched. Yeah. He hasn't been touched. Right. Got hit five times in three games. Five times in three games. Yeah. Well, he got hit five times in the first quarter last year. And so I'm looking forward to this matchup, really. I mean, Sean McDermott, uh, now is calling the defensive play. It's, it's all on him now. Mm. And, uh, hey, so far so good, right? So yeah. far so no. good. And, uh, you know, we haven't seen this side of him That's being right. a defensive coordinator and calling the plays. So Obviously. right. It's different. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. mindset is totally different. Now he's the one speaking to the defense. Well, that's the yeah. thing. I was telling Steve that there's an extra layer to this matchup because it's more than just the players that are matching up on the field. You've literally got both head coaches calling plays against one another. <laughs> right. Because when the Dolphins offense is on the field, their Mike head McDaniels. coach is calling it. Yeah. And the Bills defense is on the field. McDermott's calling it. It's McDaniel versus McDermott for half this game. Yeah, and I, directly. I think directly. what you can do is uh, the the Denver game really throws an extra little ladle of sauce on this game because of the seventy point thing. Right. And up until then, they got they scored thirty six against the Chargers, then twenty four against the Patriots. I mean, they that's kind of where you would think somewhere in there they're going to be in that twenty eight to thirty point range, yeah, like absolutely. like all the top teams in the yeah. league are. The seventy pointer though, kind of you know, that's the way. <laughs> It's like in a. It's like you throw out that last card in a card game. Go, man, what do you think about that? <laughs> what do you think about that? Right, <laughs> right. Like you get, you After count, every hand you right. lost, and you got that one last <laughs> card right there, and boom. There yeah, you, you, you win the game, and it's like, okay, now, well, okay, now we got to deal it again. Let's see where we're at then. Let's see yeah. if you really can play. That's, but that play in Denver, man. This this game's got some eyeballs on it now. Yeah, with, I, without question. I think it does. And, and, and what we've talked about, I don't know if you guys talked about it, but I thought about it. I'm like, you know, the game out of last week, there's one thing that I really upset about, that Cook didn't get another 100 yards. Yeah. 
They gave him a chance. They, get, they gave him a down chance. Down on the three. Yeah, they was, brought him. They down, called a timeout. It's, it's, but they it's brought down, him back in. <laughs> but it's down on the three. And he got one. You yard. would have Murray or Harris in there for that, not right. James Cook. Yeah. Okay? That's yeah. a hard three yards. To what get. about yeah. it? Though? What do you think? Is it, what about it, him not getting a hundred though? What about it? Well, what I, just, I mean, I think I looked up a stat. The Bills haven't had a back-to-back 100-yard rusher since 2016. With Shady. With Shady. Yeah. yeah. That's a long time. A running back. Josh, a did, running it in, back. Josh did it in 2018. He right. had back-to-back 100-yard games I'm running talking when about he was running like a crazy. A running back, which yeah. is going to play a key part in this game. Yep. It's going to play a and Why am key I not part? surprised that Thurman <laughs> Thomas said that? Well, I said it before the season started, That's right? right? So, That's right. You said well, it week one. I'm, I'm Got to run the football. I'm sticking with my guns. I would expect this, nothing uh, less. What, let's talk a little bit about it because we went into that game last week and we didn't know they got an elite front. Yeah. They got those four first round draft picks and they and the Bills came out, ran it up on them, and they ran well on that team. It was an effective game plan. Yep. Uh, James looked good doing it, and it was a big part of the offense. So, what about it? How about the Bills' running game? Is it enough to go against the Dolphin defense and maybe if you, keep two on the sideline while they grind it out for 12, if 13 you plays a drive? If to try to get the 35 points and try to, instead of 70, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a big part of it. Um, clockwise, where we talked about it last week, the, cl- uh, the long drive. The long drive. I mean, the Bills held the ball for 40 minutes, right? And uh, that's what – I'm not saying they're going to hold the ball for 40 minutes, but be nice. if there's – between both has and Miami – Occasionally, I don't know, let's say you get 10 drives. If they can cut that to seven or six or somewhere in, it's going to be tough. Yeah. No doubt it's going to be tough. even if you get them down to eight. Even if you get them down to eight, you hope in there there's a couple of one, two, three, and punts. Yeah. I mean, right. that's what you have to well, do. Well, here's the – now, if you're the coaching staff, because you know your players and you got some – you got to know that you've got a formidable team on both sides of the ball, the Bills do. Yeah. Uh, Miami's defense is at the middle of the road. Yep. Yeah. They don't stink, but, they, you know, they're not spectacular. Haven't been yet. New defensive coordinator, probably an adjustment period. So you go into this game saying, listen, we're going to play our offense. We're going to go and we're going to score. And we're going we're gonna to push and we're going to press it. We're going to push the ball down the field. We need to run it when we want, whatever. Because we know over the course of 60 minutes, if we don't turn it over under those circumstances, our defense is going to give us what we need from them. They're going to get a stop here and there. They're going to play well right. on the third and long. You know, They're going to play well on the third and medium. They're going to get them off the field when, on more than the Denver Broncos were able to, for sure. Right. It's got to be more of a game like the New England Patriot game rather than right. the Denver game. Yeah. And we should have faith in our guys to do that. So you go out and play your game. You don't say, okay, we're going to run the ball, only throw it when we really need to. Instead, you say, listen, we're going to play our game and see if they can beat us. Yeah. Is that uh, is that more of the, you know what I'm saying? You do you change who you are and say, "Listen, mm, we're going to grind it." Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you change who you are. Obviously, we're a passing team, but I think you make an effort to be like we can do this all day with our top backs that we have. Yeah. Right? Yeah, send a send a message out to. Them. I mean, the thing that we did when we played them that, you know, they had Jason Taylor on one side and mm-hmm. I don't know, well, you know what? Jason Taylor, let's see if your chin strap is strapped on tight enough today. Because right. we're coming right at right. you. You like yeah. rushing the passer, you ain't going to get yeah. you're gonna, yeah. no, no, How no, you no, like no, taking no, no. a double team. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not a swim move off the ball. Right. No, it's buckle right up front. Yeah. And, and I think the last couple of weeks, these guys have gained more and more confidence knowing that they got three guys behind them. That can get four yards here. Yep. That can get six yards here. And that we haven't seen that in a while. Well, yeah. Now and, you plus got... you throw, and plus you throw in Josh. Yeah, being that guy in passing situations, that could who's going to cover him? I mean, so you have those objects, man, that you got working for you. Yeah, it can work to your advantage totally, and plus, it's at home too. We got to take a break here, but when we come back, Thurman, I want to ask you a little bit about the value of your scout team in a week like this to try to get adjusted to what you're going to be facing, Thurman. We wanted to talk about the value of a scout team. And on a week like this, naturally you want your defense as prepared as possible for the speed that is going to be on the field on Sunday for Miami. Good luck duplicating that. Sean McDermott even joked at his press conference last hour, hey, if you got any Usain Bolts, tell them to come on down. (laughs) We'll suit them up to run scout team for us. How much of a challenge is that when you can't 
get the exact look to duplicate what you're going to see on the field? Does it take longer to adjust as a result? Or I think it takes longer to adjust because, I mean, obviously whoever they're out ha having out there do it now, it's five times faster. Yeah. It's going to be five times faster. I was like, <laughs> just put a memo out for any guys that run a 4-2. Come on out here and, and yeah, yeah, see yeah. what you're going to do. Come right. run with us. We right. got a week's work <laughs> yeah, for you. A week's work for you. But, it uh, is. yeah, it is, it's very challenging, man. Um, it's almost like they would have to be like do the Canadian football rules and let these guys get a head start. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what? That's not a bad idea. But Coach even said on a more serious note, we need these guys to run as fast as they possibly can. And because of that, we're going to have to be rotating them out a lot, yeah. knowing they're going at maximum speed to try to duplicate what the defense is going to be seeing this week. So instead of that guy maybe getting four reps in a row, he's getting two, yeah. and they're subbing him out for another guy to run as fast right. as he can for two reps. It's something most people don't think about, but it's been a part of the NFL for a long, long time. When we were, run, when we were running the K-Gun and we were running a, an offensive play every 16 seconds, they spot the, you know, we'd run, the whistle goes, 16 seconds later, the ball snapped again, and the whistle blows at the end of that one, 16 seconds. So these other teams had to, like, mimic it. So what they did to, in response to that was they had two offenses. As soon as one run a play, the whistle would blow, the other offense would run up and run another play. And this they is would what other alternate. teams would do to this get is, ready for exactly. you guys yeah. with their scout team. It's a real problem, and this thing we're talking about with the Miami and their speed and the way they run things, it's a problem – it's as big a problem to prepare for it as it is to face it on the yeah. on game day, and it's as as important because <laughs> there's no other way to get ready. You got to see it and watch it and get a handle on it, and it's a and like us, they found a way to duplicate what we did. Yeah. <laughs> How are you going to duplicate yeah, a full two? It's going to be answers. tough. It's going to be you tough. You get a guy on a scooter, I guess. Right. You know, <laughs> guy out there on a Vespa, <laughs> See, right? Did, chase a drone or something. I have no <laughs> right. idea. I don't have right. no idea. Yeah, I have any, any it's, idea. It's definitely a challenge when you know across the board this this team has speed, man, for the wide receiver and the running back position. So, uh, yeah, it's a it's a challenge that I'll be gladly watching <laughs> and not coaching in because yeah. it. Uh, you know, you're going to have to be in the right place at the right time. You can't be like Micah Hyde or Jordan uh, uh, Poirier where, okay, when they usually run this play, I might be six yards. Now, you know what? I'm going to be nine yards maybe. Right. I'm going to scoot back a little bit just in case. Here's the other thing too, though, Thurman, because we've seen this even when Tyreek was playing in Kansas City. You, Because Coach was talking about our fundamentals have got to be sound. we got to get off blocks. we got to tackle, you know, all of that. And – I always think of, you know, watching defenders at a distance, their angle of entry is important also. That's yes. an important fundamental. But sometimes, even if your angle of entry is perfect, these guys still outrun your angle. <laughs> yeah. And still week. go, you know, this in the end zone at the <laughs> yeah. end of the play. Yeah. I can't yeah. imagine how demoralizing that has to be. It's like I could not have played that any better, any better and it did. still didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, the sideline is your friend in this game. I yeah. can tell you that. Use right it as now. an extra defender. Use it as an extra defender. But I think, you know, even with all that being said, you know, I want to sit up here and say the guy who I think is going to make a difference, well, the guys are going to be our defensive line. Hmm. They have to hit to him. You have to disrupt his momentum that he has. You, he has to be hit. He hasn't been hit yet. And I think the perfect guy who's, I don't know if y'all been talking about him a lot, but Ed Oliver has been playing some yeah, he's been damn playing really good well. football. <clears throat> yeah, we, we've talked about Ed. When, when a lot of times, and you know this too, when guys sign deals, they kind of take it out of gear. Marcel yeah. Darius, they, you know, guys, they just don't play as well once they've kind of like... Got their bag of money. You know, oh, yeah. they got, wow, <laughs> my, my family finally taken care of. All mm -mm. It. Other guys... <laughs> Are like, like Ed. <coughs> I've been saying this. Seems like he's been invigorated by the contract. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. He's like, yeah, right. they they like right? me, yeah. <laughs> and I like being liked. Right. And I'm gonna play like I like being liked. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, he's looked different. I'll he say has that. Looked, looked different. different. It's been just the opposite for Ed Oliver, and that's been really cool to see. Yeah, it's been really cool to see, and I, and I think you know, um, you know, I don't know what you know. I forgot what contract he signed or whatever what the numbers were but <laughs> I, I, like I was 15 watching, million a year i was watching him like after he signed his contract like you know you just go and just kind of check up on guys yeah, i'm yeah, like yeah. i'm like this guy doing some serious workouts yeah. if you go and look at what 
something totally different that he's never done before. Yeah. And they, when he's he not riding horses. Right, when he's not riding horses. But he came in training camp. He looked in shape from the start. Uh, it's been that way for him. And I tell you what, when he plays well and he's got to figure, boy, when we get Vaughn back, I, I, I've really got to turn it up a notch. Yeah. But all the other players do. And I think that's what's happening right now. I, you know, this is the first, like I said earlier, this is the first year we've seen Sean McDermott call defensive plays since he's right. been here. And the talk that he gives these guys on what the, it just seemed like they're more solid now. I'm not saying that they weren't solid when Leslie Frazier were here, but it's a different voice in that room talking about yeah. how to do. They lead the league in we sacks. They this. lead the league in interceptions. We said this um, when when they were making the move from Leslie. The, le- the defense was always more than solid. It was yeah, top. It was, solid. It was top of it was the league. number one in the league in 2021. Yeah. Top of the league, but you rarely saw them be spectacular. You right. know, you never saw them, not a lot of turnovers, not a lot of sacks, but just a lot of punts. You know what <laughs> right. I mean? Which is, which is great. Which is, you know, they were number one in the league. Yeah. This year, they're leading the league in sacks and they're leading the league in, in picks. It just seems like it's better that way. You know what I mean? More it, timely. It could be better. It really could be better. Yeah. yeah. It may not be number one better, but more game timely, changing. P- timely yeah. plays like Trey White getting his interception. Oh my God, I was so happy for him. So happy yeah, for him. Like, yeah, those taking guys. points and off the board. Yeah, and you yes. think about all the plays that Washington ran or, or, or tried to run, man, there wasn't a step or two between anybody that was getting tackled. Jordan Poirier was somebody catching the ball. Two on steps, the ground. He was he on the ground. Him. Yeah. That the tackling ability is gonna be huge for this game. Like we said, and man, I, I just think these guys are ready. I really do. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, they are. Right. Yeah, I think, I think this is going to be a, a game. I've said it a ton, like it was last year, week fourteen or whenever they met. Tua was playing, Josh was playing, thirty-two twenty-nine field goal at the end for Bills. Right. That they had the ball last. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, they, you know, that's the way it went. That's the game, and the Bills won it. We could be talking mm-hmm. about after team that just scored seventy points. We could be talking about the following week. Is this a recipe to stop this offense? Maybe. Could be. It could be. And, and I'll tell you what, the, the Patriots did a nice job. Yes, I mean, the, pa- the Patriots. Yeah, slowing them down, yeah. The Patriots <laughs> held them to 24. Yeah. I, I think. Bills hold them to 24, they probably win the game. I, I the think game. the Bills yeah. can win the game they if they hold the them to 24. Yeah. So, I'm pumped. I'm ready. Yeah, this is. This is. <laughs> I mean, this, this is what, do we have this a is, game, man. This, this is, is huge. Do you have a, you know, right here, this is, this is why you love the season, <laughs> right. man, because, like, wow, let's go. Right. You want to see the game. I you, you, you play, I, as many times as I played against the Dolphins, it was – the difference was with, like, if I played with Jim, I knew what I was going to get. I was going to run the ball a little bit, catch the ball out of the backfield. But if Jim wasn't playing and Frank was playing – at least 25 to 30 carries. <laughs> <laughs> At least 25 to 30 carries. Yeah. This, uh, this, this game is where – and this, this Bills team's been there for a while. And I remember thinking this throughout last season, two seasons ago, three seasons ago, 2020, when they, when they burst onto the scene. You just can't wait for the team play. Yeah. They're so fun to watch. You just so can't wait to, to see them play. And we always get this thing like, – even last week, they blew out the skin, – the, uh, Commanders, but you still going into that game. It's like, man, kind of nervous. Are we okay? Yeah, right. You know, this right. they got a good front. I don't know, but man, you yeah. just can't wait to see him try it. It's it's fun. It's, a, it's a fun team to watch. Yeah, do you is. have your jersey picked out already for Sunday? I do not. Okay, I do. We'll not have to have keep an eye on your Instagram page yeah. to see what you roll with, because as we know, Thurman has a Bills jersey on every game day. So, and he's got a long. List of options. So I'm very <laughs> yeah, curious. Long list I'm, of I'm, I'm curious to see <laughs> uh, got a big which one he puts on. I'm, I'm, I, I got a feeling. I think I know, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to reveal it here. Okay. I just have a. I have a vibe coming from Thurm here, just talking to him for the last 20 minutes. We'll see if I'm right. I'll. I'll tweet it out, maybe on <laughs> Sunday at 1:05, and say I told you so. You could be. Uh, Th- Thurman, thanks for coming in. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate that. The next time I'll see you, we'll be in another country, on the oh. other side of the. Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. So looking forward. I'll see you a week from Friday, I guess.